Hey guys, welcome to another um, episode where today I'm going to have a tech fix for you. Now today we're looking at an issue where your blue right, is not um, starting up and it's stuck on the boot logo. Today we'll be doing this reset for the blue advance 4.0. Alright, so let's get into it. First I'm going to show you the, the issue. Now this person cannot um, use their phone as they, it's stuck on the boot logo. So when you start it up you're going to notice that it's going to be stuck on the Android, well not really on the Android, but it's going to be stuck on the, the blue startup logo and it will not move, right? This is a very common issue with all of these phones and this is one of the ways you can fix it, alright? So this is the easier of the fixes for this, alright? So as you can see here, it will hang on the boot logo and it will not move, alright? So no matter how long we wait, it will not move. Alright, let's get into the fix. Alright, um, it won't power down, so what we have to do is we have to open this back. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to just yank the battery. Alright, it's powered off. Now um, pay careful attention because this is the, the key part in the process. Alright, so we're going to boot into uh, recovery mode and in order to wipe the device now to do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the power button and you're gonna hold down the volume up and down at the same time all right so it's a kind of tricky so you'd have to hold it um, I found this way to be more effective so I hold volume up volume down and I hold the power and make sure you squeeze them hard enough you don't have to overly squeeze but just hold it hard enough all right all right good now you notice I'm in a mode where you're noticing on screen how the text is very small I'll try my best to show you that. Alright, it says, I'll read it for you. It says um, recovery mode, press volume up, and factory mode, volume down. Now we're aiming for recovery mode, so I'm going to hit volume up. Alright, now I've hit volume up. You'll notice an Android guy on his back. And for this particular device, um, so you see it says no command, alright? Um, depending on your phone, you press a number of different buttons. But for this particular model, you'll press the power button. Alright? Now you notice you have a set of on-screen options. And that is your recover options, alright? Now um, this phone is a little bit different from most. And depending on which blue that you're using, the options will change a bit. For example, um, to scroll through the menus, you use volume up and down. If for some reason you're using another model, the keys can change so um, it's usually volume up and down but the first thing I'm going to do is wipe this so I'm going to wipe and factory reset and most devices you'll hit the power button now but you can't as if you do you'll get a android on its back see and nothing will happen now this confuses most people now to, to actually select wipe and factory reset which is the settings you want you're going to look down here in the capacitive touch um, buttons and you're going to actually use this one the menu button now this is the first I've ever seen this happening but for some reason this model it uses this to select all right in some others i've seen you even use volume up to select all right see that now you're gonna move down to the volume keys and then to wipe all user data you're gonna use this to select all right see it's doing its thing where it says erasing let's give it a few minutes and there it says it's complete all right now um next you're gonna hit um scroll down with the volume keys again and you're gonna wipe the cache partition again you're gonna to select you're gonna hit the menu button and there it says erasing all right the only thing left to do now is to actually reboot um if for some reason you're using another device and you're not getting into this mode when you're trying to boot from the start you can try um, power button plus volume up or volume down on the power button all right so now i'm gonna restart so i'm gonna select menu again now as you saw before it was stopping on the boot screen um, it should now boot straight through now you need to give it a little time because this is the first boot as a result of that it takes a little extra time to actually start up than it would normally alright and this should fix the issue 